Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on my video and hanging out with me for a little bit today. Today's video is going to be a weekly check-in. I like to do these every week just to make sure I'm staying on top of my budget. Um, I'm going to jump right in and get started. I'm going to do a small little cash and stuffing as well. Um, so yeah, so these are the categories that I track week to week. I do set a budget for them. So I do like to do my weekly check-in to just make sure that I'm staying within my means if I need to make any kind of adjustments, anything like that. So we're going to get started. Um, I do use Sarah Marie stickers if you're new. Everything will be linked down below. And then I also do use an Erin Condren monthly planner. Also, I feel like I'm like fighting. I don't think it's a cold. I think it's mainly allergies because I cannot stop sneezing. I went to my girlfriend's uh, baby shower on Sunday and it was so windy and it was outside, of course. So I think I'm just struggling from allergies, which I don't feel the greatest. So <laughs> I've been like taking all the things. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. This is my grocery uh, expense tracking sticker color for the month. And I had a Trader Joe's haul in the beginning of the week on Monday. And then after the baby shower, we went back and stocked up for this week. So um, usually I go like Monday or Tuesday because Tuesdays are like my days off. So that's when I do all my errands and shopping. But since we were out, I was like, let's go why we're out and in the area so two um two things and then this will cover me for the week so that's totally fine but I honestly don't think I have this in my uh envelope my cash envelope but again if you guys are new here I kind of will walk that through when I'm unstuffing but for that for these categories I don't put exactly how much I want to be spending each week. It's just kind of like an allowance for the week. Okay, so 116.88 is what I spent. Last week I had 132.41 and then I spent 116.88. So technically I have 15.53 to last me through the rest of the month. Um, you guys are probably watching this on Wednesday, so only a few days uh only a few days left in the week and I don't need anything. So we got everything at Trader Joe's. So I think we're going to be just fine. Honestly, the first month that I've gone close to my budget. Okay, moving on. Parking is in gray. This day I spent $6.02. Then on Thursday I spent $40.73. I worked an all-day shift today, this day. This is the day I went to that concert with my girlfriend. Um, so I drove, I ended up driving him but just because I had to drive to her house. Um, so yeah, I was planning on taking the ferry, but because that came up, I just decided to drive. And then I spent $21.90 on Friday. And Friday was another shift. It was a little longer shift. So total, I spent $68.65 .65 for parking. <clears throat> so last week I had 115.78 remaining. I spent 68.65 and that leaves me with 43.13, 47.13. Guys, I swear I'm dyslexic because I do things like that a lot or like I write numbers down backwards and my dad was dyslexic. So I've never, I mean, I'm diagnosing myself but there's certain things that I do I'm like yeah that's not normal okay so and then for parking I work this next week but they're all manager shifts so i would be parking for free so we are solid on my parking budget because I'm under if I have still if I still money left over so I'm happy about that okay but now when it comes to eating out <laughs> so this day uh I went to mix with one of my friends mix is like a salad sandwich place where you kind of like build your own salads it's a really cool spot 
um, they're throughout like the Bay Area, I think like Northern California, um, but they're really, really good. And my friend hit me up and he's like, hey, I'm going to be in the area. I'm getting a haircut. You want to meet for lunch? So that's what we did. So I spent $25.35 on a delicious salad, tofu salad, and then I got a really good, like, I think it was like a carrot and ginger aqua fresca. Oh my god, it was so good. I still am like thinking about it. I'm like, I might just go back just to get that. And then Friday night after my long shift, I stopped and got uh Senor Sisig is a like Filipino like fast food type of joint here in the Bay Area, and they do have a vegan menu. So I stopped and got something to bring home because my boyfriend was going out that night and I just did not feel like cooking. So there's that. And then Saturday, I picked up a Starbucks on my way into work. So a total of $48.42. I have to turn it sideways, especially with this coil. Okay, so last week I had, oh wow, I thought I was going to be over. $57.08 is what I had last week. I spent $48.42. So I have 8.66 remaining. And who knows what I buy. We don't know. Um, sometimes I stop at Pete's Coffee to pick stuff up. I just, yeah. But that's not bad. At least I'm not over yet. Okay, so moving on, we have... This color, so they look very similar in color, but they're different. This one's like more green and this one's more like minty. Is minty green? More blue, I guess. So this one's gas and I spent fifty fifty three at Safeway for at their fuel station. Fifty fifty three. is that what I said? And then last week I had 109.19. nineteen. Spent fifty fifty three. So I have fifty eight. 66 and I will most likely use this um actually it may be in my July budget because I am going to go visit my family this weekend um see my mom's new puppy I'm so excited uh but yeah but that I'll probably fill up on my way home so that'll be in July so that's cool and then this Target is personal, and I spent $15.99. I honestly do not know what I bought. What did I buy? I don't even know. Um, but that definitely puts us in the negative. So $15.99 plus $3.20. So negative. Where's my red pen? $19.19. which is fine. I'm not negative in any other ones. So that's really good. Um, that's it for the check-in part. Then I'm going to move over to my sinking funds. So real quick, I'm not probably going to have much spending this week unless I do like randomly pick something up to eat out or like something on the road, like Friday or something like that. But other than that, like we're set on groceries, I'm good on gas. Like I said, I'll probably just fill up on Sunday coming home. And then I don't think I need anything for personal. So hopefully that doesn't get more negative, but we will see. I'm not going to do a week four check-in. I'm just going to go in and close out my budget um, Sunday when I get home. So that'll be up next week. But let's go over to my sinking funds. And then, um, oh, how much? I guess I didn't figure out how much I spent this thing. Also, I'm going to break this up okay anyways so I spent $20 for Bentley for food um, I spent $70 for my friend's shower gift so my boyfriend and I split everything we each gave them $50 in cash and then I also picked up a few outfits for the baby um, card things like that and what else did I get I got something else so that came out to a total of 70 and then for my friend and I, when we went to the concert, I bought her dinner, but I put it on my, because I didn't have, I think I left, like, all my cards in my Lululemon, like, belt 
wallet, my belt bag and I didn't even have my ID. <laughs> like who goes to a concert with ID? Well, I'm not drinking right now, so it doesn't really matter. But I only had in the wallet that I had my city camp, uh, card. So I ended up using that, but I don't remember how much I spent. So honestly, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll have to go in and look and see how much I spent. But yeah, I bought her, I bought us drinks or dinner and then I bought her a drink. And then, yeah, so for inviting me to the concert. So that'll be when I come out, come in and close out my budget. I'll have that all finalized. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and then pull some cash. Okay, so... Um, we're going to pull some money. Okay. So like I said earlier, um, these cash envelopes. So like these ones, my eating out gas, usually I have spending in here. I haven't been stuffing that, but these are kind of just to set myself an allowance. Yes. I break it down when I do stuff it. I break it down, dividing it by four, like my gas when I stuff it. I usually put about 40 or 50 in there. Um, and so that's kind of like my weekly spending allowance. But if I go over in these envelopes, that's totally fine. As long as I'm staying within my budget that I set, that's what I'm like more, that's what I care about more. Um, so yeah, but when it comes to my sneaky fence, if I don't have enough money in those envelopes, then I'm going to pull it from somewhere else just because I want, I don't want to be like negative in those envelopes. Um, I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to pull whatever I have in here. It's only 65. I have yet to do my weekly cash stuffing, so I don't have more in there. But when I do go to do my cash stuffing, I'm just going to not stuff it and put it towards like paying myself back I think my boyfriend paid for Sunday so I did this one so that's actually perfect to pay like myself back for this but then I will pull and I'll just stuff 50 like $55 and then give it to him um okay so eating out I don't I haven't been stuffing that's just coming on my buffer like not a big deal again as long as I'm staying within my monthly budget I'm fine with that um, and then gas, how much did I spend? 51, 20, 40, 45, 51. So 20, 40, 45, 51. So I still have 41 left, so that's good. That'll be a nice little cushion. Um, Gas, I typically roll over from month to month just because gas is just, it's one of those things that just fluctuates so much lately. It's been like up and down and up and down and expensive. And then it's like, oh, let's drop in price. And then like, oh, let's go back to five plus dollars. So I like to just have a little extra money in there just to, you know, never know. Okay, so now we're going to go over, yeah, because I don't do a personal envelope and I don't do parking envelope because those just come right out of my uh, checking account. So first we'll pull Bentley and I spent $20. I always add round up or round down. So that's why I don't have any like change written in here. Um, I again, I round up and round down in these envelopes. And then fun is in here, but I don't remember how much I spent. So we'll deal with that at the end of the month. And then holidays and gifts. So this, I actually pulled $50 out of here to do the cash. Um, so I'm going to pull 20 because 70. So I already spent 50. Do I want to do small bills? Yeah. Yeah, there's that's fine okay so 10 15 20 okay that is it you guys for this week's check-in and cash and stuffing next week you will see that come out 
Also, my sister's birthday is July 1st, and she's actually traveling abroad right now. So I may just Venmo her, cash app her some money so she has some money to spend um, while she's there. So that may be at the end of the month, just so she has it for her birthday. It may be like July 1st on her actual birthday. So we may see more transactions in here, but other than that, I don't really have anything else going on. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate it. I love uh, reading your guys' comments, so definitely comment down below how you guys are doing. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.